just coming up to five in the morning. Another early start for me after the summer solstice. I'm on my way to a photo shoot that I can't talk about. Absolutely top secret. Can't talk about it at all. Guess is in the comments. I'm getting quite good at waking up this early now. What's more, London is good at this time in the morning. Check out this. Bye. Bye. Top secret photo shoot Bye. done. Josh, how'd it go? Good. Real good. Well. Top models. So a really good time at the top secret photo shoot. London's pretty empty today, which is a good thing. I feel like I've been up for a long, long time today. Now to cruise home, get some jobs done. And then tonight, Lou is racing the last round of the virtual women's tour. So uh, we're heading over to the shop for that. I'm trying to take things easy today, so I'm having a break on the ride home. I don't think one day was quite enough to recover from that 330k Dungeness ride the other day. Knackered. <laughs> of course you're in here. You're doing some baby laps. Baby laps forever, mate. Every time I'm in Richmond Park, I bump into this guy. Every time, you just do laps all day. All day, every day. He's been in here 24 hours. Doing laps with a deer. First name basis. First name basis with the deer. Yeah, best mates. It's Rupert. When are you going to do a hills ride with me? Hills ride? Yeah. I don't know if I want to do a hills ride with you, mate. You're quite skinny. All that weight you've been losing. Yeah, getting there. Work in progress. Give me four more weeks. All right, fine. Then we'll do a hills ride. Yeah. I'm going to get the KOM back from you. Nah, that you no took chance. from me and Pete Hawkins. All right, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I have been waiting for these things for so long. And these things are not cycling related, but they're cool. And I know some of you guys are gonna like them. Anyone know what this is? And this to go with it. Here's a clue. So this is my Gibson Les Paul. Uh, it's a custom shop one, not an original, cause that's like 50,000 pounds. Now this is a fantastic guitar and it sounds really, really good, but unlike the Strat, it doesn't have a tremolo system, so it doesn't have a whammy bar that you can push and pull and change the tension of the strings while you're playing. It's that kind of sound you hear a lot in surf rock and Hendrix music. It's a really nice feature and a company called Bigsby invented a system that you can fit onto an existing Les Paul and get that tremolo effect. Usually you would have to drill holes in the body of the guitar, but another company invented this, which essentially goes underneath the bridge here, uh, bolts on and then lets you use that with this. Apparently they're really good. Let's just put it on and see how it goes. That's what a Bigsby and a Vibramate sounds like on my Les Paul. It also looks really cool, so it might make the guitar heavier, but totally worth it. Right, it is deja vu. We're heading uh, to the bicycle shop because it is the last round 
of the Skoda Women's Tour, or the virtual Skoda Women's Tour. Louise is racing once again indoors on her turbo trainer. How are you? I never you? get introduced anymore. No, well, uh, I don't know what's going before this in the vlog. I'm good, how are you? Mm, I'm jealous of your jumper. So fluffy. It is fluffy. I don't think I'd look that good in it though. The racing for Lou has been absolutely brutal over the last few days, um, so she's going to be pretty tired, and I'm sure she'll appreciate it if you give her a well done in the comments section. If we stand outside. <laughs> That's funny because we can't see in the shutter, but they can see through us, and we're... it's funny. How was yesterday? Yesterday was hilly, so we did three loops of um, this final climb, which it was peaking at like 12% and stuff. I'm sure by the third time up it, it was about 40%. So it was full on. The, the group was smashed apart pretty early. But yeah, it was okay. It was pretty much the same for me. So shoot off a million miles an hour, all the watts, hang on for dear life for about 10 minutes and then settle with a chasing group. Yeah. So that's pretty much what happened. You finish around mid-pack again? Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. What so, about the course today? flat as a pancake it's canary wharf so today's a different one that it's the actual real roads so it's it's um more realistic oh so it's the tour series circuit yeah i've raised that have you yeah it's a 1k loop that we're doing 35 times yeah there's a bit of road furniture in there and like curbs that stick out so Hopefully don't crash it. so who's been winning well diff so we've had two stages already different people won both days but yesterday it was a team effort and two girls just blew the pack away Leah Dixon won, Lauren Stevens was second, but they just worked so well together. And yeah, so Leah Dixon's in GC, I think she's first place now, but it's so close. So we'll see, it's flat course tonight. It's interesting to see the riders who have been practicing the e-racing stuff yeah, yeah. are doing better. Yeah, it's, well, it's not amazing because yeah. the, the team that are in top place they're based in America and UK, but with all of this lockdown, they've been training together more than they ever would have done normally, because they're all online. So it's definitely tactics coming into play yesterday. So we'll see if we can do the same today. We've got Meg on my team. She's currently in 11th place. So we're gonna try and protect her a bit, see if we can get her into top 10. So it doesn't matter if we kill ourselves tonight, we don't have to race tomorrow. So that's the plan, just go for it. So I don't know how well you can see it, but Lou is using a Wahoo headwind. I was just asking her if she wanted to turn it up because it gets so hot in here uh, when you're on the turbo, but it turns out that thing, based on how strong it's on, um, based on your heart rate. So the more she's trying, the more the fan goes. Clever. Mm. Oh, oh. oh lads! You did like double what you did the other day. Oh! You did crying! You did, what you did the other day though, oh my god! Love cycling. So, what's the conclusion there? E racing is really hard. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to do it. Lou is now really sweaty. She came about midfield uh, in the GC and in today's race. So they're fantastic uh, against a stacked field of professional riders. And you're not a pro rider, so I think, I think you did good. Maybe you should be a pro rider. <laughs> You'd you have think? to do that all the time. Three days is enough. Oh my gosh. Quick beer? A big beer.